It, it, it's quite interesting because both men's and women's eights that won had to go through the rep and, and both, I was talking to Tony O'Connor, the New Zealand coach of the men's eight uh, or the Irish coach of the New Zealand men's eight and, and, and for him going through the rep was crucial. Um, and, and it's interesting for you, uh, I mean, because what they had, they had, they'd gone over a bit high in the opening heat, the New Zealand men, they were going over at 40-41. And there was a determination, no, we're going to go over at 38. We're going to row better and this is how we're going to do it. Was it as definite as that in terms of you, in terms of what you were going to do in the rep or, or, or was it just sort of smoothing out edges? I feel like it was smoothing out edges for us. Uh, it's dangerous to make big changes um, to a race plan that we, we thought really worked for us with calls that really worked for us. Uh, one thing that our Cox and Kit does very good is, or very well rather, is that she adapts her coxing to the people who are in the boat. You know, it's not a one size fits all coxing. She recognized that she needs to make calls that work for us. And what works for us as a crew, this particular women's aid is calm because we will all go gung ho if you let us. And so her job is really like just attaching the reins to us and directing that energy in a, in, in, a, in a positive way. So I don't think that we were keen to make big jumps or big changes. I think that we still trusted that we still had speed. We're still going to do well. Uh, and we saw that, you know, uh, that we had speed. We broke the, we broke the world record, but the Romanians broke it by more than us. I know, so. I know.